Here we go. All ones. Welcome to your best source of knowledge under the Electron Skies, chummers. In today's discussion, we'll be talking about the good things in life, from party favors to prostitution. The topic of today is vice and how it has changed in the sixth world. So slide in that BTL or drop some bliss as we talk about how the good times rule in the digital age. Like so much else since the awakening, the way we seek out our blissful pursuits have changed a lot, from meat-based drugs with high potency to digital chips that allow us to live another's life in VR, has caused vice in the sixth world to change just as much as meta-humanity has. When the awakening hit, there were new ingredients to make drugs out of, and when these magically infused substances hit the many sprawls of the sixth world, even the barely awakened could fully enjoy the wonders of astral. Drugs like deep weed and psyche will give new wonder to anyone's daily drudgery with a kick of the magical. Just remember, Chummer, there's things in the astral who may take note when the dim light of the mundane suddenly start projecting the bright light of the fully awakened. These are the true dangers of magical drugs, not overdose, but the malignant spirits such as bugs and other more frightening spirits of the meta planes that are best left forgotten. So next time you see some hoes on the street geeked out on Psyche, yelling about how the end is near, maybe take a listen because he might be telling the truth. Though meat space drugs are stronger or more potent than they ever were, they have been unable to keep up with the digital age of SimSense, and a kind of digital drug known as Better Than Life, or Beatles for short. The development of the Beatle chips has left the analog drugs in the dust, or at least relegated to rich corpo partygoers who lie to each other about how good analog drugs such as Novacook are while looking down on the chip heads in the streets. The rise of the Beetle chip began with the development of Artificial Sensory Induction System Technology, or ASSIST, in 2018. This technology is the same tech that allows one to interface with the Matrix, jump into drones, and without it, your smart link would not be so smart. But for the scope of this lecture, Chummer, we're going to focus on how it allows the user to not only see, hear, and feel what a person does in a program, but it also allows the user to in all ways become the person of the recording. With ASSIST, the user feels not just the sensory data of the beetle, but also the emotional state of the recorded. This means in all ways the user becomes the person in the program and for the first time people could live the lives of others. This combined with some creative programming, one could even live the life of their fantasies. No longer were people watching the lifestyles of the rich and famous, but they were living the lifestyles of those rich and famous. Assist became an instant hit, with many modifying and changing it to fit their needs. Music artists would use it to add emotional depth to their music videos, while what it did for the porn industry, I'll leave to your imagination. Soon after Assist came Simpsons. With Simpsons, one could push past the limits of Assist and even break out from the natural limits that Meat Space placed upon the senses. So when BTLs hit the scene, you could now feel joy, fear, and even ecstasy beyond the normal meta-human thresholds of experience. So when Better Than Life hit the scene, it was a total game changer. No longer were analog drugs enough for the addicts of the sprawl. Now the masses sought their escapism through Simpsons often to the exclusion of everything else. Though there's no chance of overdose, these chipheads are often found starved to death as they become so wrapped up in the worlds of their own creation, they forget or more likely refuse to face the problems of meat space, such as food and water, as these things matter very little to those jacked into the false life of a BTL chip. Nowadays, better-than-life programs have limiters placed in them, preventing such things from happening. At least legally they do, as there's a large black market for BTLs with such limiters removed, and a few of these black market BTLs are as followed. The first of these are California Hots, or Cal Hots for short. Though they still have limiters, the entertainment industry of the free state have deregulated them, leaving them in a much looser standard compared to other nations of the sixth world, making them highly sought after. Though pushing the limits of legality in some nation states, CalHOTs will often likely get you a slap on the wrist compared to other BTLs. Dream Chips are your standard go-to beetle found all over the sprawls of the sixth world. These are full VR chips you slot and live the life of another, or at least the life that was written into them anyway. Slot one of these bad boys and no longer are you a wage slave gone. Now you're Maria Mercurio on a hot date or hanging out in the pleasure palace of the gods. Just pick whichever fairy tale of the street that you want, because they got them all, chummer. Mood chips are what put analog drugs on the back page of yesterday's scream sheets. These chips disable the RAS overdrive, which prevents the user from getting stimulation from meat space and stops the body from moving while in VR. So you can get that digital feeling of SimSense pushed beyond the metahuman threshold all while functioning in meat space. This is what made analog drugs something your grandma and grandpa used to take, as SimSense induced highs will 
take you well beyond the limit of what a real drug can do, all without the nasty withdrawal the next day. Skill softs are technically beetles, and like Moo chips, they disable the RAS override and allow the user to instantly know any skill when the chip is slotted, though not to the same degree as someone who naturally learned the skill. Skill softs can be a handy tool for any team who lack in certain areas of a run. Just try not to push yourself too hard with those martial art chips, as you can really pull a muscle without the proper muscle memory and fitness to roundhouse kick that corpse X smug face. The last of these are persona fix. These are the opposite of dream chips, as once slotted, the user will take on the persona of someone else completely. So instead of living someone else's life, they are now living yours. Or more correctly, you are living your life as them. Often Persona Fix are used by Corpo Black Ops and Runner teams for infiltration missions, as how better to impersonate somebody than actually becoming them. Oh, and Persona Fix also see widespread use in prostitution to fake famous people. Just slot one of these chummers and it'll make you a new person, guaranteed. Though the analog drugs of your grandparents' era are still on the streets of the sixth world, and much stronger and potent than they ever were, they've taken a back seat to the rush that SimSense and Magic can provide. 